Hey guys, and welcome back to Overwatch. Today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. Uh, I'm basically going to be explaining the new character in Overwatch, um, kind of covering everything that she does, and also just telling you things about her. By the way, uh, real quick, I'm fully aware I completely missed the boat on this one. I still want to set a precedent, just so you guys know that I want to do this in the future, and we're probably going to do this type of video. It's going to be really clean cut. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the lovely Grandma Anna. Granny, Granny Anna. Annie Grana. Alright, okay. She is the newest addition to the Overwatch family. Alright, so where to start with this character? Let's go with um, her story. So essentially the only two things that are really important um, is that she is Farrah's mom and essentially she had to go into hiding, kinda, not really, it's a whole thing. Uh, there's a lore video, just go check that out. It's expertly made and fun to watch, so d do that if you want. Alright, so that's the character's background. There might be more there. Go search the lore for yourself. This is more me just trying to tell you how to play this character, kinda, um, but also just sharing the skills and each little niche thing about her because there's a lot of stuff that is unknown and I want to just condense that all into one place so you don't have to watch eight streams like I did. And then, yeah. Good, good talk. Alright, so Anna is a long-range sniper class. Um, essentially, every bullet that hits one of your allies with the sniper heals them for a big old chunk of health, which is awesome because you don't fire particularly slowly, so you can pretty much heal someone extremely quickly. Like, I'm pretty sure she's the fastest healer in the entire game without there being any sort of niche alt being being used in that. Yeah, like Zenyatta's might be able to out-heal, but um, three shots, I think, repairs someone's health to full, which is insane. First thing you gotta know about her sniper is that it is no way the same as any other sniper you've played with. Essentially, it's a trike gun. So unlike a normal bullet, it is going to hit and then do three ticks of damage. Now that I think equals out to 60 if I'm not mistaken. Also, considering there's no impact delay, there's no point in aiming for headshots. So with this character, completely rework your entire way of thinking, especially if you play Widowmaker, um, to just getting body shots constantly. Another thing to consider about a weapon is that there is a massive delay when you shoot it from the hip. Uh, well, <laughs> not massive, I shouldn't go that hard into it, but there is a fairly big delay, which is kind of crappy, but also it makes sense. It kind of nerfs her in a tiny way, so if you do want to use hip firing you should be really close it kind of promotes that way of play which makes sense all right so that's pretty much all you need to know about your gun it's a normal sniper except it doesn't have any impact delay it's like a damage over time effect when you do get a shot um so it takes like a couple seconds for it to actually do the full damage that you're outputting and also no need to go for headshots because it doesn't affect the damage um buff at all so boom all right now let's quickly run down our skills Alright, so Anna's first skill is a grenade. You chuck this grenade and it will do a massive heal. Not like crazy, but it's a pretty good heal to any allies within its radius. It works as a pretty good self heal if you're in a bind. But alongside healing your allies, it also amplifies any healing done. So if you have a Lucio and a Anna with each other, it's going to be amazing. Constantly start spamming that bomb because it's going to keep everybody alive for a lot longer. Her second skill is Trank Dart. It is the most trolly skill on the planet, but it is very easily broken. Now what I mean by that is essentially Trank Dart is able to stun anybody for eight seconds which is insane that means any alts any player that's doing extreme damage you can essentially just immobilize them but here's the kicker if any one on your team damages that said ally or sorry enemy they're gonna pop back up and what you just did is in, in like the littlest inconvenience to them in the slightest so, so people don't know what Anna's skills are you're gonna have this skill kind of fall apart immediately but it's also good for countering alts like Pharaoh's justice reigns from above it will snap her out of that so yeah I guess there is some value within that but also one thing to consider, and it's so annoying, is that it has a very long time to prep. Um, now, maybe it doesn't in like the seconds, but it feels so goddamn hard to hit. Um, one, it does not have a lot of give in my opinion, but also um, you hit the button, give or take a second or two seconds and a half. Um, and then it fires, because she has to, I guess, unholster it, because I believe it's a gun, uh, like a pistol. But still, it's it's somewhat aggravating, because because sometimes it just doesn't hit, and you're like, why? Well, what's happening? And it's a whole thing. Anyways, anyways. Now, this character probably has one of the best alts in the entire game. It is basically a massive overcharge to anybody on the battlefield. Well, any ally on the battlefield. Um, so essentially what this does is it overcharges your allies, um, one specific ally, with movement speed, damage resistance, and a damage buff. So this is coupled with a person that can stay alive and or a person that isn't gonna die easily which is a bit weird um, so if you give a Reinhardt this it's going to be insane because you're gonna be increasing his damage as hammer which is basically a one-shot hit for most characters but also you're gonna be increasing his movement speed by a lot allowing him to close that distance really really fast and you're making him even more resilient even though he already has armor on him 
Literally, I've seen a Reinhardt wipe a team. It is amazing. Other great characters to nano boost are Diva and Junkrat, in my opinion. Junkrat may be a bit confusing, but that damage increase is make basically makes his grenades a one-shot kill, which is awesome. And he's a very tiny target, so albeit he doesn't have a lot of health, he's very hard to hit if a Junkrat's moving kind of chaotically. It's very hard to hit him. And, well, that's all of her skills. She has a sleep. She has a AoE grenade that heals and debuffs enemy. Oh, did I mention that? I didn't. Damn it. Um, okay, I'll mention that real quick here. Um, her grenades actually do a pass passive as well to enemies when you impact um it does do I think 60 points of damage which is really great so if any of your enemies actually get hit by the grenade you're going to be pretty low in health but also um it actually stops their ability to get healing so if there's any sort of like person that's really getting milked for healing like say if there's a reinhardt mercy combo if you throw that grenade on reinhardt he is going to be done there's nothing that mercy can do to repair his health um she's better off just pulling out her gun and trying to kill you so that she can you know hopefully they can live through this or live past this <laughs> Weird, but yeah. Alright, so that's the character. Um, but, my god, have I seen so many people play this character? I don't want to say the wrong way, because I don't want to be that asshole who's like, Well, excuse me, sir, you fucking, like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but, holy crap, I see some people play her as like a Widowmaker attacker, and that is so far from the truth. If you want to play a, in my opinion, I've rarely lost games with this character um, because I play her completely support based. I don't ever look at my my enemies unless I'm, I'm almost dying to them. Like for instance, I stay really far back, don't really shoot at any enemies and just constantly riddle my um, my tanks, my all my allies um, and constantly support them up and I throw my grenade at them to give them more longevity in terms of health regen because it allows my, my healing things to do more so I can keep them up for even longer. Um, I don't really engage in too many actual hostiles so yeah I don't and that's gone really well for me. I don't don't really get like the craziest amount of like eliminations which is not your place as a support you're not supposed to get eliminations as a support you're supposed to get you're supposed to get the most healing done and that kind of thing at least that's my opinion <laughs> so yeah i play her pretty far back but i also like to hug a tank this character in my opinion should be played similar to zinyata um so where you need to pick a tank if you are going to move and be aggressive pick a tank get behind them and just constantly keep shooting them but actually unlike zinyata you can't actually fire through the tank which is something that a lot of zinyata players do um so that's kind of an inconvenient but then again you're keeping that tank alive so if you're playing with a diva if you're playing with the roadhog that's awesome because they can actually start firing if you're just holding behind a reinhardt it's less good in my opinion but yeah all right so that's kind of the basis of the character keep long long range do not play her like a widowmaker do not play her like a killer player like a very very support oriented character because that is exactly who she is she's meant to set up kills not necessarily initiate them by herself can she 100 is it smart to do this nah <laughs> not at all also she has the perk of being very like tiny like she's a she's a tiny old woman so she's very hard to hit and she's also very like weirdly bouncy like you, you jump around and it's really hard to hit that set target for some reason all right so i would suggest not spamming your sleep dart i see a lot of people do that just go for like money shots well actually with that being said um with your sleep dart never aim tracking an enemy because if i'm not mistaken um the it doesn't actually work that way like you can lock in on a, a target hit the button it's going to stay 100 percent on your um your crosshair so there's like a three second delay so you hit the button and then if you look away in the slightest, you're not going to hit your target. So what I would do is I would hit the button and then aim in an area where people are going to be, kind of over-predicting where they're going to be. And oftentimes I've had more success with that. But hey, maybe I'm just out of practice at it. I haven't played like a... I actually, I can play a lot of this character, but um, maybe it, I'm wrong. Maybe it's just like a time thing. You just got to play a lot more and you'll be able to just, just knock everyone down without even having to think about it. Maybe it's like a practice thing. I bet it is. And again, her skills actually are very spammy in a way. Um, so her healing grenade, I constantly throw that at my Reinhardt slash tank right as I nano boost them just so I can keep riddling them in the back and they can just basically never die or I can really look after them in that sense. Um, also, right as you're about to leave the gate, um, like say when the doors are opening in an objective-based game and you're getting riddled with rockets, throw your bomb at the beginning of that because it's going to be really helpful because it's going to amplify your healing. So if you have a Lucio or if even your darts are going to basically pick up people from nothing, which is awesome. Okay, so that's the grenade. That's a sleep dart. Do not spam the sleep dart because it's a great evasion skill. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, so if you're getting rushed by a Winston slash Diva slash anybody that can essentially dive on you and wreck you, don't panic. Uh, unless you wasted your uh, your trank dart, you should be fine if you didn't do that. So essentially, what you should do is just dive at that enemy. So if Ryan or not Reinhardt, sorry, if, if Winston is diving at you, just get ready to hit that button. Make sure he's really close and it's very hard to miss. Hit the button. He's done. He stopped. You can get way far away because I believe the cooldown for your sleep is eight seconds, which is which is a crazy amount. Also, shit, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. Um, this character is in its beta trial, so for all I know, this may never happen. Like all of this may be changed. So he you're hoping that's not the case yeah um she's actually really well balanced like i've seen people just play terrible with her but i've also seen people just play exceptionally well with her um again it's usually the people that play terrible or the people that are playing her like a very attack oriented widowmaker 
which is not the case. She plays way more like Zenyatta than anything, I think, um, except take away the damage and add a lot more healing. <laughs> but also, she's a very big playmaker, so again, that nano boost essentially allows you to control when people push, and I really hope people learn to play alongside um, Anna in that way, so that you don't just nano boost somebody and they just stand there. Luckily, I've gotten into the beta service, which where everybody was playing Anna, so everyone already kind of understood the meta of, like, if I nano boost you, you're fucking going in, man. I don't care if you die. You go in there and you kill shit. Uh, so I'm here's hoping that that sticks, and here's hoping that people pick that up quite quickly. Now, some of the biggest counters to this character is definitely going to be Tracer, because, again, you have a bolt-action sniper, so you're not exactly able to have a lot of leniency on missing a shot, and Tracer is such a tiny target, um, and, yeah, you only do, like, 60 damage, I believe, on hit, so it's nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, that's definitely one of your banes of existence. McCree is okay. I guess the tinier characters themselves are kind of worse. Like, Zenyatta is not that great. Um, McCree I don't really find a problem with. Again, it's all about hitting that dart. That sleeping dart is how you essentially counter those people back. Um, which does have a cooldown, so yeah, hopefully you're playing really, like, hidden and whatnot, so here's hoping that that happens, but anyways, um, guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up, that's essentially Anna, I will be making a gameplay video as usual, I just wanted to test this out, um, I probably will make these more often when it comes to, like, when a character just drops, and if I'm able to play her, I'll probably try to get this out on the second day that she's actually available, um, and yeah, <laughs> but also a reason why there hasn't been a video is because I actually wanted to wait until I like, really understood the character, and I, to be honest, this character is three-star difficulty for a good reason. She has a pretty big learning curve. You definitely have to get in the mindset of staying back and just not shooting, in my opinion. Again, the best games I've ever had is where I'm just solidly focused on keeping every one of my allies at max health, and then, like, tranking a person, and then also throwing my grenade to, like, make it so they can't heal if there's a Mercy just going to town, or if there's a Lucio, that kind of thing. Um, and I do take pop shots at like, oh sorry, pot shots at some people, but for the most part, I'm just focusing on my allies and really keeping a mental note of my actual tank. And yeah, this character is one of those characters that is like my main now. Well, not my main, I'm sorry, that's not, that doesn't exist in Overwatch, but it's definitely one of those characters where if I'm ever gonna play a healer, I'm most likely to play her or Zenyatta, because Zenyatta got a fucking crazy buff. Anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just so fun to play those two characters. I used to be Lucio Man, my god, dude. Yeah. Granny power is... Okay, this is weird. <laughs> it's getting real creepy. Anyways, um, also, I'm actually not sure about this, but do you heal shields? I don't know. Maybe just sometimes I've gotten, like, like it's weird. Like, it just lines up really well, and I'll actually, like... I'll shoot them, and their shield will just, like, come back. But maybe it's just started to come back because it, like, regenerates. Regenerated at the perfect time? I don't know, man. Um, regardless, this character is one of those... Again, I like it because you're basically everything, which is terrifying. You're a healer, you're a playmaker, and you're a pretty hard counter if, if enemies are focusing you. Uh, but that's the, that can be said about any support. But maybe not Zenyatta, but... Actually, no, Zenyatta... No, Lucio would have the most survivability, I think. Ah, anyways. Um, the only thing, the only downfall to this character is that she's an old rickety woman, and she has no movement abilities, which is perfectly fine. That's kind of her balance. Um, she counts heavily on her teammates to make sure that people don't infiltrate and destroy you. Um, and if you do, you do have a fail safe, which is your sleep dart. But again, like I said, it's sometimes hard to get. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of type of video. It was a little bit more guidey. I tried to go through everything um, at a good pace um, and not joke around to a stupid degree <laughs> because I kind of wanted this to be informative. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Endor Frost, and hopefully that helped. And hopefully when Anna does come out, nothing has changed. <laughs> but also, you guys play her fairly well. Um, and yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Endor Frost, and bye, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe! Yeah!